Yo, hold up. If you're making these common Photoshop mistakes, you're seriously limiting your potential. Trust me, I've seen beginners fall into this trap all the time, and it's sabotaging their designs. But fear not, my friend, because I'm about to show you exactly how to turn things around and take your work to the next level. Stay focused, because this is a game changer. We're gonna clean up your workflow, make your designs crystal clear, and elevate your skills like you never thought possible. In today's video, we're diving into the biggest beginner mistakes I see way too often, and I'm gonna show you how to fix them fast. I've also got a PSD file linked down and a link in the description. It'll walk you through all the fixes and leave the layers open so you can follow along and try it yourself. What you see on the screen right now is just what I had when I started making the PSD, but there's more in there for you to experiment and have fun with. You're not using highlights and shadows, and that's why your designs look flat. No depth, no dimension, just colors sitting there with no life. A lot of beginners focus on details, but lighting is what makes a design pop. Look at this. No shading at all. It feels dull, right? Now here's the same object with proper highlights and shadows. Instantly more depth, more realism. That's the power of lighting. The fix? Always think about your light source. Where is it coming from? Where should the highlights go? Where do the shadows fall? Grab a soft brush, set the opacity to 30 or 50%, and build up your highlights and shadows gradually. All right, now that you've got highlights and shadows down, let's talk about something that's probably wrecking your image quality without you even realizing. You're not using smart objects. Here's the problem. You're editing directly on a raster layer. So when you resize, transform, or apply filters, you're damaging the quality permanently. And once those pixels are lost, they're gone for good. The fix? Convert your layers into smart objects. Right-click the layer and select Convert to Smart Object. Now, you can resize, transform, and apply filters without losing quality. Plus, if you need to tweak something later, just double-click the smart object and edit the original file. Alright, now let's talk about a mistake that's making your way harder than it needs to be. You're still using the Eraser tool instead of Layer Masks. Here's the problem. When you erase part of a layer, it's gone for good unless you hit Undo a hundred times. That's a one-way trip to frustration. But with layer masks, you can hide or reveal parts of a layer without ever losing the original image. Here's how to fix it. Instead of grabbing the eraser, click the layer mask icon at the bottom of the layers panel. Use a soft black brush to hide parts of the image and a white brush to bring them back. This way, you can adjust and refine without destroying anything. Once you start using layer masks, you'll wonder why you ever used the eraser in the first place. Trust me, this one change will completely level up your editing game. If you're making direct edits to your images without adjustment layers, you're setting yourself up for a headache. Beginners often tweak brightness, contrast, or colors straight on the image, and that's a fast track to permanently messing things up. Here's why that's a problem. Once you make those changes, there's no going back unless you start over. But with adjustment layers, you can fine tune everything without ever touching the original image. Here's the move. Instead of jumping into image adjustments, go to the adjustments panel and add a levels, curves, or hue saturation layer. These sit on top of your image, meaning you can edit, toggle, or remove them anytime. Want more contrast? Tweak the curves layer. Need to color correct? Adjust hue saturation. It's all non-destructive, so you keep total control. Once you get in the habit of using adjustment layers, you'll never go back. All right. If you're only using the normal blend mode, you're missing out on a game changer. Blend modes are a powerhouse, but many beginners are intimidated. Check this out. This layer in normal mode? Nothing special. Watch what happens when I switch it to multiply. It blends seamlessly with the background. Overlay, instant contrast and depth. Screen, perfect for light effects. Each blend mode reacts differently, transforming your designs. Experiment to discover the magic. All right, that's a wrap. We just went through some of the biggest beginner mistakes in Photoshop. Ignoring highlights and shadows, not using smart objects, overusing effects, skipping layer masks, forgetting adjustment layers, and sticking to normal blend mode. Fix these, and you'll see a huge difference in your designs. But here's the thing. Learning Photoshop isn't just about watching videos. It's about practice. So take what you learned today, 
apply it to your next project, and keep experimenting. If this video was helpful, remember to hit that like button. And if you're hungry for more Photoshop tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe. Got any questions or issues you faced with the software? Drop them in the comments. We're all here to learn and grow. See you next time. Peace out.